This is Neil Ratner on Rock Talk here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. Musician, songwriter, and producer Brandy Carlisle celebrated her 43rd birthday yesterday. Brandy taught herself to sing and began singing country songs on stage when she was eight years old. And by 16, Carlisle was a backup singer for an Elvis impersonator. However, after she listened to and was heavily influenced by Elton John's music, Carlisle learned to play piano and eventually the guitar. In 1999, Brandy met twin musicians and songwriters Tim and Phil Hanseroth, and the three began writing songs and playing music together. Carlisle released her self-titled album in 2005, and she was featured on Rolling Stone's list of 10 artists to watch that year. Shortly after the release of the album, the tightly knit trio, which still forms the core of her band today, spent the better part of two years on the road, honing the songs that would later become part of her next album, The Story. Carlisle is a 25-time Grammy nominee and nine-time Grammy winner, and in 2023, she was presented the Songwriter Icon Award from the National Music Publishers Association. During her acceptance speech, Brandy explained what songwriting meant to her. I write songs so that I can be with other people in the esoteric, in the ether, but also so I can be with other people in a room, so that I can be with other people on stage. I do it as a way to belong. And I think that's why I've always done it. Um, It's a way to communicate. It's kind of why I've learned to do anything so that I can communicate with other people through songs. And uh, I have no interest in doing it alone. I don't uh, do anything alone. I don't like food alone. You know, I like to be able to talk about how great it is with somebody else. I don't think comedy is funny alone. And uh, songwriting, for me, is the conduit by which I relate to other human beings. And um, sometimes I have to shut it off in myself. I can't do it all the time. I'm listening to the remarks of other writers and I'm thinking it's just remarkable that they can go to work every day and they can write songs. And uh, I feel like I have to kind of shut that pipeline off sometimes and replace it with other forms of creativity, which may not strike you as creativity, but they do to me. Things like um, Finnish carpentry, or uh, fishing and captaining a boat, or curation. You may have noticed I do a lot of curation of concerts and get-togethers and things like that. And then every once in a while, I'll know that it's time for me to end my constant struggle with internal feelings of aloneness and write songs again. The joke is a song co-written by Brandy from her album, By the Way, I Forgive You. With music inspired by an American trilogy by Elvis Presley, the lyrics are intended to uplift people who are marginalized by society. The song received widespread critical acclaim and was nominated for Grammys in four categories, including Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Okay, let's listen. Brandy Carlisle and The Joke. (laughs) 